the fact that you want to go to the gym seven to eight days a week so you can be with a man who's got two children and a partner <laughs> tells me. <laughs> uh, can I just say, I've never eaten ass before ever in my life. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. I got COVID. Yeah. And um, the day that I found out I had COVID, my boyfriend broke up with me. What is good, guys? It's your girl, Madam Joyce in the Bizzle, and we're back again for another motherfucking week. Do you know what, yeah? I was editing a video of myself the other day, and I realized that I actually swear quite a bit. Like, if it doesn't have a sprinkle of motherfucking in there, like, is it really English? Like, but I do want to change. But I hope everybody is well. Guys, I feel like everybody's kind of closed. This is the last week before everybody starts closing off for Christmas holiday. Guys are putting on their out of office emails and they're closing the laptop and they're on their merry way. And I'm actually quite excited for everybody. This week, there's been so many events like end of year party, end of year party. I don't know if anyone's gone to their Christmas, their um, staff Christmas parties and I'm seeing tweets of this person and this person and this. Honestly, it's very, very interesting when you work with people like on a regular like nine to five and then you see them at the Christmas do and it's like, oh, you actually have a personality? shock like <laughs> i remember when i used to work at northampton borough council and um it wasn't a christmas party but we went out and i was just seeing you guys already know her name i was i don't even want to say her name anymore but you will see that woman and she was like proper like letting loose she wore one one v-neck and she one v-neck top her and she will now wore one high breasted you know you know you know the white ladies yeah the bigger white ladies with boobs they love they love that bra that just that you just what do they call it um a breast lift what do they call those bras like a one like the bra the, the breast was sitting at her chin and she now wore v-neck they loved it and then it, it was like a it was like a dress the, the wrap dress that's it you know the wrap dress and then the breast will now be pushed up but yeah it's always crazy seeing people from work do work parties and things like that but i feel like this year we should have done a secret santa no emmanuel um well it's not too late is it too late i mean yeah f you in it <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i was thinking that because everybody was like oh um you know i've got this secret santa and i've got this but to be honest yeah is it really gonna be exciting because there's only really like three of us i mean and latif <laughs> i feel like latif is part of the team but okay let's just say okay there's four of us and just five of us like can, can you really do secret santa with five people yeah, yeah. okay I mean, <laughs> 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 to be honest yeah i'm the type of person that every time i do secret santa like i, I and i think it comes from a place of ego I will never. I will buy something very like nice because I don't want my colleagues to think I'm poor or my colleagues to think I'm stingy. So I will always use my pride to buy something elaborate, and then all I will get is just some stupid chocolates. Like I remember when I used to work in Tesco and we did Secret Santa, and I bought this lady a twenty, like a piece, like a cutlery piece. It was so sick, a nice sterling silver cutlery piece, like proper, proper nice. It was like thirty pound, and I remember that thirty pound was <laughs> that thirty pound nearly pulled me to shreds. But I was like, listen, if if the girls at the count, the ladies at the counter start chatting about me saying I bought present yeah my ego is gonna drop so i bought it anyways then i got this stupid like bit it's, it was like a it was like a single beer it was like a, a sample sized beer bottle and then it had one chocolate on top first of all i don't even can drink beer so like where do we even go from here and the it just i ate the chocolate though but it's just like okay cool <laughs> like we're talking about a 20 piece um cutlery set a piece of chocolate and a beer that i don't even drink like it, there's just there's just no point but anyways i wanted to say something first of all when i saw a man can i just say emmanuel 
I was about to start stuttering there, but I'm gonna keep it together. <laughs> Emmanuel, you're very rude. When I saw Emmanuel today, <sighs> I saw Emmanuel today and I took off my jacket because it was cold I off my jacket and the first thing this guy said to me and he said it guys we're all witness here we all saw it he said is that what you're wearing no I didn't say that's like exactly that. how you said it <laughs> you said it's bra is that what you're wearing Emmanuel yes or no you didn't say like you didn't say I that I said those words but not, <laughs> not, not, in, in, not in that way in it he said he's used to see me doing elaborate and doing but do you know what I was late today today I have a very busy day guys um, and I was already running late and I looked in my wardrobe and I started having anxiety. I feel like sometimes picking clothes can be quite an anxious thing, Emmanuel. Yeah, it can. for me, I don't really care, I can't lie. But to for be, other people, I get it. Emmanuel does dress, he does dress quite clean. Like, you know, it's yeah, always cargo on, jeans and t-shirts, rotation, jeans, <laughs> t-shirts, shoe, rotation. But no, but I feel like it's a, it's a clean look, it's you. But for me, sometimes... I've just recently got into my fashion girl era. Like, you know, this year was when I started taking my fashion seriously. So when I'm looking into my wardrobe, it gives me anxiety because I don't I don't feel like I have the fashion eye. I'm still trying to force being a fashion girly by force. I feel like you got it a bit. A bit, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a tad. No, nah, you've got it. Sometimes you come in and like, wow, how did you piece this together? It's looking very... <laughs> Listen, I've been looking at the TikTok girlies, but just know it took me like two hours to put that outfit together. By the time I finish getting ready, my wardrobe... Wait, wait, two hours just to like pick just, that... I promise you, the reason why I'm late for most things is because I don't know what to wear. And for some reason, especially when I don't buy something new, if I have to go into my archives, I, my ADHD starts bugging out. Like, it's bad. Like, I can sit there for two hours wearing clothes, off in it, wearing clothes, off in it, wearing clothes, off in it. I have it, like... Picking outfits give me such anxiety. I can't lie. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I don't like repeating outfits, which I'm trying to change, by the way, guys, because that's a very toxic trait to have. What, like, in general, if you've taken a picture with it? Like, if I've taken a snap with it, why am I wearing it? Like, because I can't take another picture then because it's, like, side by side, yeah. the same picture. Like, so every time we post a pic, we need to bring out the new drip, you get? So, yeah, the clothing thing is terrible. There's also another thing, like, guys, I'm talking to my team here, Tia and Emmanuel here, are here, and we need to have a conversation because I swear to God, guys, if I see one more fucking episode with my wig lifting, I'm not putting it out. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. How come nobody in the studio wants to tell me that my... Okay, Tia meant... Okay, Fez, Fez, Fez. Tia mentioned that episode with Dami is haunting me so hard. It's haunted me very hard because I'm looking at the snippets and my wig is lifting so hard, guys. I want to turn into sand. Even the episode with ZZ, I'm like, Every time, because guys, you there's one, two, three lights in front of me right now. So when I leave my house, the wig is is managing. You know, it's, it's you know you know I'm, you know I'm not a wig girly, so I try my best in it. I'll just pluck it, it's pa, pa, pa. But then when the lights start hitting, quah, like the lights is bling <laughs> bling. Then obviously now <laughs> I'm now giggling, laughing, swaying, flicking. I'm now, I'm now my top lip is going. Now my brow, like everything is sweating. By the end of the episode, my wig is like here. And I saw the episode and I said, wow. I didn't know I was, a, I had a camp full of fakes. That my wig was lifted to this degree. And everybody kept quiet. I mean, Be it's different for me, innit? Tia should know. About <laughs> <laughs> me, innit? That. Emmanuel, we've worked together long enough for you to know if the wig is not hitting. And you know one thing about Emmanuel, yeah? Emmanuel edits it. So he will see it and he'll be like, it's not that bad, it's not that, but it is that bad. Because when I'm in the comments, people are like, I can't even hear what she's saying because her, her wig is lifting. It's like, thank you. Thank you very much. I swear to God, if you see an episode, if I say, if you see a Wednesday from moving forward, 
that there's no episode is because my wig was lifting and no one told me and i'm dead i'm dead f***ing serious okay guys so emmanuel Yo. you know we love the me- we, we know you yeah emmanuel you know we love your opinion on this show and especially when it's from the from the male perspective yeah so you're the representative of the boy dem you get <clears throat> A survey shows that 20% of men in the UK wear the same underwear oh for a week. Gosh. The survey of over 2,000 UK residents revealed that although the majority said they wash their underwear after each wear, a shocking one in five men admitted to washing theirs after wearing them for a week. Worryingly, 5% claim they will stretch this to two or three weeks uh. of wear. Emmanuel, how often do you wash your every, pints? I wash, I, I do my washing every week, yeah. Every Friday, I do my washing for my clothes. Uh-huh. And I, I have new boxes every day. So they get washed weekly, but I wear new boxes. You will not find me wearing the same one twice. Do you have friends that you know dead ass that they're, they're happy to say that they have two, they wear two or, they have two or three wears of the same boxes? I hope not, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know in it because it, I like I don't know how I would find that information out in it. So you know that's hell. You know that's the worst thing I've ever heard. I can't. That's crazy. I thought you were gonna say a couple of days, then a week. Like, a week. What On is your top of that, like? girls. Let me let me tell you something because girls look at boxers. Have you ever spoken to a boy and the band is ripped? <laughs> The boxer band. <laughs> the boxer band is teared. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever seen a guy and he's wearing white boxers, but it, the boxers oh, is off white? No. The boxers is off white, as in you don't make, you don't, you you don't separate. You don't separate your washing. You will go and throw the jeans and you will now throw in the boxers with the jeans. Now the the boxers that was once white is off white. <laughs> and now you've, you've come to wear. <laughs> nah, this is actually, I can't believe this is a thing, but I, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't want to make it a race thing. Because I wasn't there when I wasn't there when they did the what did they call it survey, but guys, come on, man, then what's going on? Do man, you know then, any girls that wear their knickers for multiple days? I will f- up any. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know that's f- disgusting? Yeah, you know that's disgusting. Any girl that's sorry. I don't think there could ever be a woman that wears their. No, no, no. Do you know what girls do? That's do you know what's, uh, what I'm going to say? Like, I'm sorry. If you're coming to my house, if you're coming to my house and let's just say you forgot your pants, don't ask for my pants. That's a don't, thing. That one, is, that one to me is just so horrible. Like, don't, like, you forgot your knickers and you're looking at me. Should, I sh- we should be going to be sharing the same pants that you'll be wearing my pants. I've never, I've never got that. Because I remember one time there was a girl... Um, there was a girl that asked me for, oh, can, I haven't got any knickers, can I wear yours? And not like, I didn't have new pack knickers, but she was happy to wear knickers that I've, I've put inside my bum. <laughs> like that didn't, that didn't make sense to me. But yeah, I, I can't imagine. I, guys, put it in the comments if you have a story, but I cannot imagine that there are women that wear their pants. There's sometimes I even change my pants twice a day. Like now nah, I've got the pants. If you, I'm, I've got an event that I'm hosting. I've got another pants in my suitcase that I'm gonna change into because ain't nobody gonna be smelling my pussy. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> ain't no one is gonna be smelling my thing. Like hell no. Like you have to keep keep clean and fresh, ladies. But no, that's. But I just generally feel that me, men's hygiene is just quite piss poor. They have two ends of the spectrum. They're either really, really like freakishly organized, clean. Which I think, Emmanuel, that's a bit of you, innit? Yeah, that's a bit of me. Yeah. <laughs> I can just tell, like, freakishly organised about their space. Or they're just dungeons. They're just absolute dungeons. 
Yeah, I've seen some bad spaces. Girl, I, oh, nah, some people's... Li- Anyways, we're not going to be talking about that. But yeah, seriously, man, them, if your boxes is ripped, just go and buy, go to Primark and buy a new one. Like, I get, like, the aesthetic, at, to be honest, I do love Wonder Man them wear the, ca- the CKs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Wonder Man them wear the CKs, the Calvin Kleins. But if you don't have Calvin Klein money, or if your Calvin Klein's are tearing, just go to Primark and just get you a little brief. Speak, Emmanuel, do you wear like, um, do you wear panties? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't, man. Nah. I can't lie, yeah. As a man, as a grown ass man, why are you wearing, when I see, <laughs> why are you wearing panties? You know, there's some grown ass men that wear panties. I don't even get that. Why would you pick that over? Bo- it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know who needs to hear this, but unless you wanted the girls, unless you wanted the girls, you you part of Gag City, you have no business to wearing panties. I'm sorry, <laughs> you have no business. Go and buy some fucking boxes, girl. So I have a question that I want to put on the table. So I saw this video of this girl, and she was like showing her friend a picture of her new bay right and if you see the side eye the guy came to give the girl and it just had me thinking like are you bothered if your friend doesn't find your someone you're seeing or dating attractive does it does it get to you yeah it will definitely get to me not because i see validation but obviously if like it's it's your girl you want to feel you want like you want her to make you feel good in every way possible. So if you're now excited to show someone and they're excited and you can't have that, that feeling, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> no, so would it like, like, would it, would it make you think otherwise of her? Hmm. Keep it a stack. Yeah. Like, okay, scenario, it, it scenario. You show, you show a picture of, you're like, rah, yeah, yeah, I'm chatting to this girl. She's a bad B, great personality, big bump, everything you like, da, 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 nice teeth, da, 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 da. And you show your friend that she's like, he's like, she is, you know, you, and you know what? Yeah. Can I just say fuck some friends because they don't have any filter. You know that you, you went to the friend with no filter, not like, oh no, you know, she's not a bit of me. She's not my type. He said, she's dead. Like, you know, <laughs> like, you know, she's clapped dead. Are you still chatting to her? Yeah, but it, the like, the sucks, like the, the mindset of, yeah, we're gonna be together is decreased. The percentage. <laughs> it's wow. like cool. Men. No, I can't Men. lie. It's, it's different to saying, oh yeah, she's not a bit of me. But if he, she's dead, <laughs> I'm gonna be looking out on a date and in my head, I'm gonna, she's dead. Maybe. She's dead, she's dead. <laughs> nah, but before your friend said it, you thought she was a bad bee. This is what I just feel like men should just be together. Like I just feel like if you wanna if you wanna date your boy, just say that. Just just do it. Like nah, just do it. They... We're in a liberal time. Because there's no way that you've just said that when you first met her, you thought, ah, oh, she's sexy, she's bad. And the minute your friend has said, nah, this girl's clapped, you two, you've now carried that one on your head to say, yeah, she's actually when I think about it, when you deep it, like <laughs> 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 you are very, very fickle. Man, that's so fickle. I see this story with guys all the time. But I think for me, I can't lie. Recently, back in the day, oh, girls, every girl knows this, yeah. Sometimes, the thing is with girls, like, we know in our hearts of hearts when we're dating someone that's not, that's not the bee's knees, isn't it? We know, we know. So, Sometimes we, we might not be the first person to say it, but your friend will be like, you'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm talking to this guy. He's really nice. He's really nice. And then your girl's like, ah, oh, let's see. Let's see a pic. You know, you have to, you know, you know when you have to do the pre-warning. You have to do the pre-warning. You have to be like, ah, oh, do you know what? Yeah. F- um, like, he don't really take the best pictures. That's the first <laughs> one. Or you'll be like, oh, like, ugh. I mean, like, He's, or when she's like, is he nice? And you're like, he's nice. He's nice to me. <laughs> he's nice to me. Is he a good looking guy? Like, I think he's, he's good looking to me. He's like, you don't want to say it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want to say that this boy is dead. <laughs> but his soul is good. <laughs> then, on then, 
Your then the third one is, ah, oh, let's see him. Let's see your let's see your boo. And you're on the Instagram. You're now flicking through, flicking through, looking for the right one to show. Which one shows the fullest potential? Which one shows the nicest angle? Because he's, the guy's got 50 pictures and you're like, nah, this one is not giving. This one is not giving. I can't, I can't present him in this way. You're now looking for the one. You're now, you're, now you, you ended up in 2019 when he was slimmer. <laughs> <laughs> now you've ended up into that's the one you have to show your friend because for girls that that oh he's not nice or he's not good looking is painful because you're gonna chop it but guess what you're still gonna stay <laughs> you're gonna chop it but you're gonna stay because he's a nice guy he's been good you know what i mean so for me i can't lie Hoochie daddies only, gay, <laughs> like, I swear to God, I have dated so many men. I feel like, maj- let me, majority of my roster, when I thought about this the other day, majority of my roster is twa. <laughs> twa. Damn. I swear to God, I was thinking, none of these men, maj- I can name one, one. Wait, I need to calculate. I can name two out of my whole roster that I dated seriously, that I dated, I liked, we were dating, we were progressing, that were that were hoochie daddies. The rest of them, personality, 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 Bro. good soul, good soul, good hearts, good hearts. Did funny, you funny, at the time, funny. Though? I don't, I, I knew. You know, I said, <laughs> I knew, bruv, when you're looking at <laughs> <laughs> when you're like, when you're looking at someone and you're like, ah, oh, he's not my type, but you know, you know, you see the thing with men who are not conventionally attractive, because I don't like to use that word ugly. Let me see that are unconventionally attractive. Yeah. The way they will fiend for you like a dog on a steak. <laughs> the hunger is different with a guy that's unconventionally attractive. That guy will hunt for you. And so because you're not giving him the, even though you're not giving the attention because you're looking at him, you're thinking, you know what? You're unconventionally attractive. Like I'm not even feeling that too tough. They will still be pressing, 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 pressing. And then they catch you at the right time. The, 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 the thing is you'll be ignoring them, ignoring them, ignoring them. And maybe you just had a situation shape and you're lonely. Or maybe you're like, I'm down, work is hard, or I'm not feeling too sexy. And then this unconventionally attractive guy's telling you, you're beautiful, you're hot, you're sexy, you're cool, you're so amazing, I really like you, you're so hot. So now all those emotions, you're not, he's now feeding into, you know, the, 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 the lack that you're lacking. So now you you now you've you're, you've you've now what's they called? You've now you've now lowered the gates small for him to enter. That that has been every time I've dated an unconventionally attractive guy. That has been the reason because they caught me. All the begging, the months of begging, months of begging. They caught me at the right time. They got me at the right time. So now it's like, okay, cool now. Okay, you got my attention. Like, what are you saying? They still end up sheets. <laughs> <laughs> they still have, they still end up the same. <laughs> but anyways, what, what the fuck are you even talking about? I'm sorry, even if my if my friends don't find my man attractive, it's gonna hurt me. I can't lie, because everybody wants to be with a hoochie mama and everybody wants to be with a hoochie daddy. Like, we we just that like it's nice to have that affirmation of your friend to be like whoo like your man is yeah 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 take that take that take that like but i think for for me it's just that just comes from an ego thing but even if you're not like the bee's knees um i'm still kick it with you shit i like personality i like guys who are funny and i tend to grow to find people attractive it's very weird like i can grow i can grow to find someone fine So, new hot topic this week. We have porn sites that could begin scanning faces in an attempt to deter 
underage users. Ofcom has suggested guidance that porn users could have their faces scanned to prove their age with extra checks for young looking adults. The watchdog has set out a number of ways explicit sites could pre prevent children from viewing pornography. They have outlined how they expect firms to become highly effective at complying with the new regulations, which will come into force sometime 2020 Bumba Clark 5. They have also suggested other methods, including checking government photographic ID, such as a passport, and checking if the user has previously had age restrictions removed from a mobile phone. Now, I get the intention. I get, I, I, I understand. Like, I feel like there is a problem with children watching adult content. And it's fucking with the younger generation because now we have a we have a generation of incels that see women <clears throat> as they see them in porn, in video games, which a lot of times is very, very toxic. I don't think, it, like, when you're looking at porn, when you're looking at all these things, the depiction of what a woman is is so skewed because usually it's catered to the men, to the male perspective and the male gaze, which is centered around patriarchy and, <clears throat> to be honest, women abuse, if I'm being completely honest, in just its entirety. So when you're looking, when, when younger boys and younger girls are looking at this, it really skews their reality of what it is to be, what a woman should be and what a man should be. But I feel like there's a wider problem. I feel like even if we have these restrictions on pornography sites, I feel like generally sex and pornography is now something that lives outside of those sites. You see, back in the day, everything else was so censored. Censored, sorry. TV was censored. Um, games were a lot more censored you know the internet was a lot more censored like you had those those hubs those those pornographic hubs for when you want to come to those things and it's tr it's managed to trickle its way into mu uh, trickle its way into music where it's like it's it's soft porn like we live in a world that is full of soft porn it's not necessarily two people having sex but it's a woman in a bikini and her nipples is poking through what really is the difference to me or it's not really porn but we can have lyrics where we're talking about i want my pussy a and i want my thing a which as an adult woman i can understand it and it can be fun but someone who's a child that hasn't quite had life experience they're going to receive the information differently because they're younger even fam you can block pornography from fucking the porn sites but what about pornography on twitter what about t why are you giggling like that <laughs> no because it is true i'll just be scrolling one time and i'm like whoa i didn't ask to see this fam, what, i'm laughing 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 then i'm seeing somebody getting their black back blown yeah. like it's that like, girl out this is this i didn't ask for this or even on, t you know, on TikTok now. No. Have you been, no, there's soft porn on TikTok. Like I remember scrolling and it's like, this girl, she had big bazooka boobies, big bazooka boobies. And she was reading comments. Every time she said a comment, she'd pretend to laugh, but as she's laughing, she'd be bouncing her breasts and she'd be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and I'm like, what the f She'd be ka ka ka, but the, and her breasts are huge, so they'd be doing do do do, and I, and then there was that DJ, that D, that DJ. She couldn't even DJ, but she DJ in like these skimpy outfits. Or have you seen the one where sometimes you see people on TikTok and they'd have like they they'd have their dick prints out. Bro, they'd have that the, yeah they'd have boxes and they'll be like yeah just chilling at home but you can like see their dick prints like Bro. all this is soft porn all this is like suggestive like it's not necessarily like two people having sex but it's everything that it that insinuates that that's what this is about so i think we've got a wider problem are you i'm actually emmanuel i'm not gonna ask you that because i'm i'm respectful of your privacy but i actually <laughs> i don't i don't watch porn I think it's very, I personally think it's very toxic. Yeah. Um, when I got told about porn when I was about 13, no, I lied, I probably was younger, I was about 12. And I was at church. You can imagine, it's the church boys that showed me what porn was. <laughs> you can imagine men of God. <laughs> and we were at church 
and they were giggling about something. They're like, porn. And I'm like, what's popcorn? They're like, oh, not popcorn, porn. I'm like, what is it? Like, I had no idea what it was. And they were like, oh, when you got home, when you get home, g- Google it. Google what it is. We're not going to tell you what it is, but when you get home, Google it. So I was so intrigued. I went home and Googled it and I was just at Google www.porn.com and I saw her nudity, breasts. I was like, and I was so scared because imagine this is on the family computer, the family computer with the drum at the back yeah, okay. and, it's, and it was porched in the living room for all to see family members. But I was by myself. I started panicking. I said, yeah, if my mom sees me on this side, if my mom sees me on the side but from honestly from there i started watching porn from there i started watching porn and it wasn't and i didn't understand it and it wasn't until i was like maybe i didn't have i wouldn't say i had it i wasn't watching it all the time like i wasn't i wasn't watching it all the time but i watched it here and there but i i think i i I generally stopped i stopped watching porn and i actually stopped masturbating when i was like 18 19 i don't maybe 19 i was like sorry give me some dick <laughs> like <laughs> yeah i don't I, I don't i don't really I, i'm not really for masturbation and i'm not really for pornography but that's just that's just that's just me um but i feel like those type of stuff when you're exposed to those things when you're younger um it really does have an effect on how you, like your your life perception and your perception on the opposite sex or perception on, of the sex that you like so I, I I mean, I fucking get like you're trying to change the thing. Like, you know, it's one step at a time. But I feel like we're just in a wider problem. I feel like parents need to just start being a bit more. Anyways, that's a whole nother comment for another day. All right, guys, we are back on the sofa. And it's only right that I introduce my next guest. I'm actually so excited about this one. And today's guest is a creative powerhouse. She's gone from being a presenter to being a DJ to being an event curator and continues to host and bring us new, fresh content to our screens all the motherfucking time. Guys, she is one from one of the most iconic families in the scene. She has us standing for her confidence, style, and energy. Guys, I am so honored. I'm so pleasured. I'm so fulfilled. I'm so satisfied to introduce <laughs> Julie Adenuga! Do you know what? Can I just say, I'm so gassed you're here. I'm really happy to be here as well. You know I'm what? Very happy to I be was here. thinking about the first time we met and it was like, why did I have diarrhea? That was the first thing. Sorry? Remember we met, we went to, I remember the, the day we met. Oh, we no. went to, no seriously, dead ass. We went to, a, um, it wasn't the first day, we met, the first time we went for um, dinner. We went for dinner, like a lunch or something. We went for sushi. You had diarrhea before or after? I had it before. And I remember I was like, <laughs> Ju- I, I need to sit down with Julie. She's a very busy woman. And I have diarrhea, but I'm still going to come out. Because I was like, this is Julie. I don't know when the next time I'm going to see her. And we had the sushi. <laughs> and the sushi... <laughs> and I oh remember I said, I need to go. When we finished having the meeting, um, I went downstairs and I, and I was like, nah, I need to release. And you was in the cubicle next to me. <laughs> Was I? You was in the you was in the cubicle next to me. And oh I yeah, because I took pictures. Yeah, but, yeah, I think I remember. And I remember yeah. coming out and seeing you. <laughs> and I thought, fuck. <laughs> I said, shit. Wait, I don't, I don't, Ivy, Ivy, I didn't know this at the time. I don't remember that this happened. But you really held that together because I was so humiliated. I said, did she smell <laughs> what I delivered to that toilet seat? Because. <laughs> But if 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 the first meeting is not chaotic, is it is, is it, it even, even us? A, yeah. Is, is it even me? Is it even wow, you? Wow, I'm so proud of you. What? Actually, that reminds me. Go on. I am so proud of you. I got you a gift. You got me a gift. I got you a gift. Really? Yes. Can someone bring it over? It's the red box. Ah! And the hey, let me not scream. Let me not bust the manual's eardrums. Oh wow. <laughs> a little gift. Thanks, T. Thank you, honey. This is for you. Oh my. Can, can I think? Yeah. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Bambaka lot. <laughs> do you know what? Very rarely do I get gifts on the show. I think in, in, the, in the 60, 70 episodes we filmed, this might be my third gift. Oh, wow. So it really does mean the most to me and Aww. the world to me. Oh, my God. And it's, can I just say, who wrapped this? Is it the Raptors? 
It depends on if you like it or not. Okay. Do you like it? Big joy. <laughs> if you Big like joy. it, it was me. If you don't like it, it was me. No, I'm so... Guys, wait. I'm about to open this gift. It's in a... For those who are listening on Spotify, it's in a sexy, hot and naughty red box. Wow. Not us doing the big reveal. Also, while she's doing that, I'm just eating chips from the disco ball. Just so As everybody you knows. Sh- oh! Oh, stop. Oh, st- you- it's cold outside. You actually know. You go in, actually go know again. I love these hats. Go in again. Go again. God. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. Oh, my God. It's so cold outside. There's another one. It's cold. It's cold outside. <laughs> it's one degree. Julie, you know I love these hats, right? I know. You know I love these hats, right? I know. Now you knew that. <laughs> no, she knew that. Because no, guys, you know that this is, I, I have a black hat just like this, but this one is giving, it's plush. That other one is, I think my mom bought it for me from the charity shop. And I've just been wearing this. And this one has, this one has a, a shine to it. <laughs> Can I just say thank you so much? You're very and welcome. And do you know what? Do you know what? This, this to me shows me everything I love about you because when, like when I say you're a journalist, <laughs> you are a journalist. Like I was watching, I was watching the the documentary we, you did with Munya mm. and when you went to Norwich. Yeah. And I don't think, just so that you can understand where he comes from. Yeah. And I don't think anyone is as meticulous and as research driven mm. as you are. So honestly, this is just a testament to that. And I, I am... I'm not gonna cry because I'm not moist in it. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry because I'm not moist. No, I, I, I very rarely get gifts. And you were saying how we don't really like Christmas. I want to know why you don't. First of all, before well, I, I, like I cry, my yeah. I, mine's a little bit boring. It's not. It's yours sounded like it was deep. By the way, <laughs> yours sounds very deep. Mine was boring. I don't like Christmas because I don't like how people they sold they've sold us Christmas like it's a commercial thing you know you yeah gotta go and buy stuff you know you gotta be broke they pay you early so you got enough money to go and spend all your money in the shop all these different things and i'm like but does anyone remember what christmas is actually about yeah the real reason that it's there or are we just you know i've got friends bless them they're not religious but they're celebrating christmas I'm yeah like, but do you even believe in the person whose birthday it is like it's about the literally for me it's about the source i'm a christian girly but I feel like we definitely have lost the Christ in Christmas. We have. We have. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's my thing. So that's why for Christmas, if you're doing family, let's eat together, let's all meet up and just spend time together and love each other and stuff, fine. But if we're doing, oh, I've got no money now until February 1st because I spent all my money because they just sold me loads of stuff, that's where I get a little bit upset. I feel like people should be a lot more understanding in this time. Like, if it... If in Christmas you got fluffy socks, you should be thankful. You should be if thankful. you've got uh, Lynx Africa, you should be thankful you because be thankful. honestly, in this in this season, it's it's really really it's hard really to survive tough. in this. It's thing. really exactly. It really is. My reasoning. Mine is a bit more. <laughs> mine go. is a bit more hell. Oh, wait, sorry. Before you tell me, there was a reason I said I'm proud of you. You got a, there's a card. Oh my god. Oh, and the hat. There's a hat on the floor as well. You lost one of your hats in the oh, fire. The hat has blo- Huh. <laughs> I promise you next year I'm going to serve looks. This cheetah, because we are sisters. <laughs> we stand to get this cheetah licious hat. Oh, y'all going to be sick of me. <laughs> y'all going to be sick of me in this house. <laughs> Thank you so much. These are gorgeous. I'm, I'm even squeezing it inside. You can squeeze it. I'm going to carry the box because honestly, th- I'm holding this box. This is going to be like this. No, the whole please. Episode. I want everyone to see your lovely outfit. Stop it. You know what's so funny? I feel like we were both stalking each other. Mm. And Julie came to the realization that I love to do glam aesthetics. So she's this she's is, given us you know silk. Saying? Yeah. Slick my hair back. Slick back. Slick back hair. May I put on Boobies a bit of makeup for you? You know I don't really do makeup. So I put on a bit of makeup. Boobies loose, got free loose, boobies. bouncing from me. Saying? Yeah, everything. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna turn up. But look, I was, I looked at the set and I knew that I couldn't come here in any like this. <laughs> I get here. <laughs> Joyce is doing Gymshark t-shirt, and those no, those bottoms are nice though. Thank like you. Those. They're very nice. Just a casual. Just casual a casual shirt. because I've seen you and you look. You're always cash. Sometimes it's like even headscarf. <laughs> Even as, as I nearly wore his today. I said no for Joyce. I'm gonna tell. That's so funny. But you know what this is? This is a lesson. Be yourself. Agreed. Be yourself. No, but you look sexy though. Thank you. I mean, this is who I am as well. But in that moment where you think, oh, you know, what should I? How should I just yeah. go with who you really are? 
no you do you know what you're absolutely but to be honest let this is your moment to shine they've Thank seen you. me too, they've seen me too much they've seen my breast too much yeah, let them see someone the else's videos. boobies i even wore bra today which i never wear so oh, wow. let's see someone else's nipples today <laughs> see, mj oh my god look the price is on the back I actually leave it there it's nice <laughs> 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 go on, go it's on. the thought it's the thought but this is this is a bouge this is first of all it says so proud of you mm-hmm. mj 100k subscribers don't forget to subs- don't forget to subscribe 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 don't forget to subscribe subscribe you that shit <laughs> is crazy that ch- you and Vix, i need to record that and release it i'm telling you now <laughs> that song is exceptional that's exceptional oh God, exceptional I'm so someone. well done keep going julie julie honestly thank you so much <laughs> you're welcome am i about to shed a tear <sighs> i mean i might no this means it happens the, to the best of us no nah, honestly this really does mean the world to me you can you can pay me back by releasing that song do you know what victor get let's get victor. ourselves to the boom i'll be in the video i'll just sit there just doing this i'll wear i'll wear a full trad outfit as well i'll just be doing this in the background i swear <laughs> that i love that. i sing that song all the time oh my god nah, that means the world to me thank you so i don't even know what to say wow you're welcome thank you for having me Nah, this is this is fab. Can we drink to this? Yeah, let's drink to it. Let's drink to this. Cheers. Yes, Cheers. I also, funny enough, mm. you do the um drunken history. Mm. <laughs> you do the drunken history. Mm-hmm. While we drink, I took it upon myself to give some drunken fun facts. What? About, so, about me or just in general? No, history. We're okay, going to stick it. So, go on, go on. when I was doing my research, because <laughs> honestly, do you know what's so toxic? I was like fun black history facts. And then I, I, I'm on Google fun black history facts. And it's like, yeah, when they were lighting. And I said, no, that's, there's not, there's nothing quite fun about that. Not even there. a little bit. There's not, but yeah. I really scanned through my research. <laughs> yeah. And I saw uh, black in, black inventions. Mm. So the elevator doors yes. okay. were yeah. invented by a black one. person. I didn't know this one. Potato chips. What do you mean? Like uh, crisp walkers. Was, was invented much by black people? Was invented by black people. Whoa. Yes. That's as far as I got. <laughs> <laughs> I no. did that. <laughs> no way. Are you joking? No, was it? Per. I know. Um, oh, I hope I'm right about this. Traffic lights were invented by a black person. Nice. Which is not very us, is it? I know anything structure. Yeah, like, is that- <laughs> I feel like we like chaos. If you've been to Nigeria, you I don't know, whoever invented the traffic light did not go to Nigeria. Definitely not. Um, what else is invented? This is annoying because I know so many. I actually watched a YouTube video, you know, Jackie Aina? Yes. She did a video where she had a list of all the things that were invented by black people. And for the whole day, she wasn't allowed to use anything that was invented by a black person. So you watch her live a day in the life not being able to do or touch or use anything that was, and she couldn't do anything. It was actually really cool. That's really Clearly, cool. Clearly I didn't retain lots of information from it, but it was but really good. You, the foundation, you, you could tell the story. The intention was there. The, the intention was that there. But I want to go, this, wh- where did that black, drunk black histories come from? Cause I Mate. thought it was, I thought it was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It was really good actually. It's probably the best shoot I've ever done. I'd seen the show before, when it's just, I don't want to say the regular one, but it is the regular, the most original one. Yeah. And then um, Femi, I don't know if you know Femi. Femi or Yeni Ran. Is he fine? He- <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about my guy like that. That's crazy. I'm not saying <laughs> anything. You can look at him yourself if you want to. But um, he got in touch because he was working on the Black Stories version, which is drunk history. Yeah. But we're talking specifically about black stories and black history. And um, the premise of it for people that don't know what it is, it is you get really drunk and then your friend tells you a story from history about black people. And Joyce, honestly, I've never had so much fun in my life to sit and be listening with someone else who's drunk and you're looking <laughs> at them like this and you're thinking, cause there was times, I know there's episodes you might be able to see it where I'm like, I'm not asleep. Girl, but, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know this is important, but you know when your eyes glaze over, and yeah. you're like, I'm the, I can feel the tequila through my whole body, and I'm not gonna make it. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And why do you feel like it was important to? Well, first of all, Black history is so important, mm-hmm, anyways, to mm-hmm. share. But the twist of being licky licky, <laughs> <laughs> of being licky licky while you're doing it. Why did you? Why did you feel like you needed to add that a little yeah. bit? Because it made it like, let's be honest, shouts to my history teacher, Miss Vivian. Yeah? Mm-hmm. She was really lovely, but history can be quite, mm, yeah. you know what I mean? 
So I just like the element of like, you're just a bit waves. Like it's, you know, you can you can get in a bit more. Do you know what? I love that. You you were talking, you when I watched your um interview with Munya, you were saying how, um I think one of your team was saying how it's so important. Like when you're highlighting important topics, mm. people, when you're talking about politics yeah. and history, the fact alone, people tend to switch up. Yes. But bringing it to life, just how Munya's done it, where he does the rap and the mm-hmm. skits, how you've done it, where you've added the twist, you've added the, dr- the drunkenness <laughs> to it. It keeps people engaged yeah. while still learning and retaining yeah. important information. So honestly, big up you. But I want to I want to start in the Beningrin. Oh, we I love the go- Beningrin. We love, don't we love the Beningrin? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I I don't feel like you talk about this much. What is it? Like, I mean, I mean, just generally, like the start of you, the start oh. of being a presenter, the start of of your confidence and where you come from. So, mm. I just want I just wanted to know, like, what made you want to get into presenting? Um, I think I don't. know. It's weird. I remember talking to poet Mad early on, and he was saying about how they call us presenters, but we're not really, we're just like people. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how I look at presenting. I never felt like I was a presenter. I thought I was just being myself. Yeah. And just talking about whatever you asked me to talk about today. Do you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? That was what I was doing. So I never felt like I wanted to get into presenting. I always just felt very comfortable in just being myself in different areas. And also I can talk for days. I should have a podcast at some point because- Please load it! I know, I never stop talking. But that was my thing was just, I'm talking all the time and then someone says, okay, Julie, we know you like to talk, but can you just talk about this? Like, yeah. Talk about music. So, okay, cool. And that's literally how it started. So did you, so when you when you first started, when you were in your teen years and your mm. adolescence, what was it that you wanted to do? And especially growing up in a space where your brothers are musicians, mm. your older brother's a musician, mm. did you always want to follow that route creatively or were you thinking about doing other things? Um, what was I thinking about? I was, I was doing anything, Joyce, man. I was just having a good time. <laughs> I was just having just a good life. <laughs> yeah, I was just having a good life. I didn't really, I didn't really feel pressure to be anything. I wasn't mm-hmm. really trying to do anything special. I remember being in school and they'd ask, you know, what do you want to do? And I just didn't have any answers. I didn't have anything. I was just always doing stuff that I liked. Yeah. Whatever that looks like. There was no pressure to get a job. I just, my first job was when I was 16, but I was working in Ikea, which is Her. Like, which, which Ikea? Ikea is on the MRP. Do you know what? Funny enough, so I literally, I, did I see you at the event that they had for Spotify, the big warehouse event that no, used to uh, be? No, so yeah, drum shed. Yeah, drum shed. My brother was having a party there as well. That's the old Ikea. I yeah, mean, it's really sad. I know, I know. I, I went in there. I heard, I heard people talking about it. They're like, oh, this is a, this is a memory yeah. to me. <laughs> Tottenham Ikea. You were thinking what? I don't know what anyone's talking question. about. question, what is it like working at Ikea? Ikea is probably my second favorite place to work in the whole world because it's just like a big giant play house. That's all. And you get all the food for cheap when you work there. All of it. The hot dogs. You get the, you can get 10 meatballs and um, chips with the um, salad. I used to get it for 50p. Is the meat is the meatballs do really meat don't or is that. it pigeon? Don't do that. <laughs> because don't no. do that. What, what have you got? Have you got a tester? Where, where? Why are you getting an IKEA? I feel like everywhere is selling fake meat. Don't try and pick an IKEA. So can we? Can, because <laughs> the profit margin of selling meatballs for fifty p. No, it was for making... staff was fifty p. For everybody else, you had to pay the full price. But because I was working there, it was cheaper. Sorry, that I can't believe you're trying to get onto IKEA's meatballs. Sorry, that meatballs is not. Do you think it's hundred percent beef? It's delicious. You think it's hundred percent? Hell Where's, no. I'm Even sorry. the hot dogs. Where'd you get your chicken from and your beef from? Where'd you get it from? Aldi. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and to be honest, and you're sure, and you're sure about them. Yes, yeah, I saw them cut it. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you know it? what? I do you know what? It's better to just pretend. I feel like deep down we know <laughs> that it's not real meat, but it's like I think it's real meat. I just think the bit of the animal we're eating is not what they're telling us we're eating. That's my thing. So it's not the thigh, it's the bum cheek. You know what I'm saying? And that's uh, do you know what? As long if we, if we don't know, I'ma pretend. <laughs> Because it tastes good. It's, it's I can't good. lie. If it, in the back of the in our minds, we know it's pigeon. If you've been eating, no, I don't think it's a different animal. If I if they tell me I was eating like a cow's batty this whole time, <laughs> you you finna still eat it, girl. <laughs> eating eating ass in that way is disgusting. <laughs> I mean, girl, she said in that way. She said there's other ways where it's fabulous. No, in other ways, if like it's acceptable society, society, in society, isn't it? Society. Uh, can I just say, I've never eaten ass before, ever in my life. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. You know when you got to say to yourself? Just to be clear, just to, in all the cameras, just to be clear, 
I've, n- <laughs> I've, I've only maybe eaten a cow's ass. I've never eaten human ass before in my life. No, I haven't, but it's just lo- to be clear. I haven't, but it's loading though. Uh, for real? Hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. Shit. Joyce, no, you can't. Oh, just a little chip. You can't put your, you can't put, <laughs> no, no, no. Just a- you can't put your face there. Just so, just one time. No, you Listen, can't. Listen, no. I do, do it for the plot. Would you seriously do that? Hell yeah. I'll do it for the plot. I'm one of those people that I do it to say I done it. Like if if, if I haven't done anything before, I'll never say never in it. So I'll just be like, okay, mate, like one drunken night, like. Oh, you have to be drunk. No, not, I mean, you have to be confident. Uh, it's, not, it's not the drunkness, uh, it's, look, it's look, the confident. No. It's, it's the confidence. Wait, close your eyes, close your eyes right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Now I want you to envision that you're behind a man. Okay. It's batty. <laughs> yeah? You're there. You're having a good time. You've had a couple of tequilas. It's, you feel good. I'm still in front of the batty. Yeah, you're behind okay. the batty. It's okay. right in your face. Yeah. Tequila in my hand. Uh, you, no, you've done a shot just before. Okay, I've done a shot. Okay. Now you've taken your hands and you've put, you've placed them upon his left and right cheek, and now, <laughs> <laughs> now you're dragging them apart slowly. Yeah. See. Okay. Yeah? No, now, what's me. looking at you in your face? An asshole. <laughs> <laughs> An asshole is in your face. Yeah. So now you're coming to tell me that you're going to take your tongue out of your own mouth and place it on an asshole. Um, I, listen, I don't care if he hasn't pooed in a month. I don't care if he washed before. I cannot put my face next to a hole where shit comes out. I can't, I'm sorry. So anyone that does it, I hope it's great for you and them. Me, my face, this face. <laughs> Do you in know the what? asshole? No. In the vision that you you made me. How have. did you feel? To be honest, yeah, the bum was hairy. That was the first thing. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to I didn't want to judge hairy bums. The bum was hairy. But the bum is normally hairy and it's not smooth hair. Sometimes it's like Emmanuel, is your bum hairy? <laughs> I don't know what hairy is, in it, but I don't like, I don't, <laughs> don't, don't know what hairy is. No, like, like, there's hair, yeah, there's yeah. hair. Your bum. Sir, there's is there hair. hair in your bum? Yeah, there's is hair, there... but it's not hairy, in it. <laughs> There's hair, but it's not hairy. Yeah, like, it depends on the... Like, if someone wants to lick my bum, <laughs> like, I don't think they'll have a problem with the hair, in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll let someone lick your bum, Emmanuel? Would you? Yeah, because it's a bit free. Proud of you. Free. In the moment, <laughs> innit? In Proud the moment, you. it just happens. You're like, Ooh. Emmanuel, I'm... Ho- I'm ho- in the moment. Look how everyone's living. I'm horrified. Moment. Do you know what, yeah? When, so, when I was closing my eyes and, and thinking, I was thinking about the conversation you were having about meditation. <laughs> What, you was meditating while she was trying to eat us? No, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just the action of closing my eyes. Oh, was, so you taking yourself to a place. I was taking myself to that to that place. And I know your 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 proper <laughs> pro meditation. Yeah. But I don't I don't know how to do it. I feel like my brain is constantly like in emotion. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, they always say as well, the more you meditate, the easier it is, but yeah. To get to the point where it's easy, you obviously have to get past the bit where you're like, I can't shut myself down. Yeah. So it's, I feel I feel that everybody's got a different way of meditating. It's just might not be called meditation. How do you meditate? But, so for me, I will, like, I like mixing. What's mixing? DJing. Oh, okay. So I'll just have, if I have, if I go to Pirate, where they've got like, you can like rent DJ rooms, I'll okay. just go four hours and I'll just mix. And to me, that's a form of meditation because I'm just, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just oh, wow. in this place by myself, making playing music that I like. Or another one that I do, oh, the gym. That's a form of meditation. Mm. When's the last time you went to the gym, Joyce? I mean, <laughs> I, I said to God, I've not been in gym in like three months. Have you got a membership? Four months. I do, they take it every time. So you see the money go every month? Every what month. What did you do, just smile? Do you know what, yeah, I just look and be like, do you know what, it's loading. I just keep telling myself, it's loading, it's loading. I'll catch you there, I'll catch you there, I'll catch you there. Just so we can gauge what kind of foolishness you're on. What's the gym membership price? It's like 46 pound a month. That's quite a bit, you know. Yeah, because- To it, not go. To not go, because it comes with swimming and everything. Oh, like, that's quite And a bit. classes. I did, do you know, to be fair, in all honesty, mm-hmm. I did book a class <laughs> last Monday. Did you go to the class that you booked? I didn't go, but the, <laughs> act- the action of booking. The That's a step that- for you? Yeah, hell yeah. Pat on my back. To, to press book. Yeah. What class was it, Joyce? It was, um, what was it? Oh, Just body say- pump. What? Body pump. No, no, this sounds ridiculous. No, body pump is good, you know. It's like you do the, what? <laughs> What's it called? Ah. Oh, What's- pump. What is it? Barbells, huh? It's like a yeah, muscle workout. Yeah, 
leg. <laughs> she said, she said leg. <laughs> just just a, bit of, a bit of arms and a bit. What do you do in the gym? Uh, I do weight training. Fab. I do um, resistance training. I Look do squats, deadlifts, all of that. I love it. You know, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of you. I love it. Do you it's know good. what? Yeah, people that go to the gym, they just think they're just so holy. And then that would even you're so cool. <laughs> just, yeah, just to do this. You know, I do just, a little bit of a, you know, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, and I bet you've got the fucking A two, walking lunge, yeah. Bit, that two liter bottle. What? No, I actually, I take my cup. I, I bet she fucking does, isn't it? Yeah, oh my God, yeah, just drink two litres of water. It's just like, okay, like, all right. Just because you have everything together, like, just because you have everything together, Joyce, like. It's going to be okay. You know? I know, I'm so hot. It's going to be okay. I'm so, you honestly, I want, I want my life to be together so bad. Like, I keep saying, I want to be that girly that has the sustainable <laughs> cup. <laughs> and goes to the gym we four plastic, days that plastic we, water bottles do you know what I, yeah plastic water bottles you don't bottles. even finish it as well do you do you know what you leave it on the side I keep saying I don't I barely drink water I drink <sighs> Ribena what I know it's my toxic trait Ribena is just your standard drink that you go to standard it doesn't even taste nice anymore <laughs> I know after the sugar tax but you have to do what you gotta do, you do black currant or raspberry I mean black currant black, black currant carrot, yeah oh, I so love, dead I love Ribena so much oh no it's nice but it's dead that's dead stop it <laughs> I mean I, I want to be more of a water drinker but unfortunately you just gotta commit yeah it's the commitment I, I need to have more dedication and speaking of, where, where do you where does your dedication come from oh gosh um dedication dedication this generation dedication <laughs> where did my dedication come from I feel like my family is a very competitive family we're a very competitive group of people oh really yeah your family is like mm. like you know when you have you know when your mom has that friend that she compares you to? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> no, no, it's like, you see your friend. She's, look at her, she's winning. I just feel like every <sighs> African family is looking at your family and thinking, look at my family. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's pressure, boy. Look, look, at, look, look at your mates. <laughs> Mommy's doing book. No, but then do you know what I love? That yeah. all the kids can look back at their parents and say, yeah, but you won't let us do, and you force us to go to uni. To do to do uh, business, yeah, you're right. To go and do law, I didn't want to do law. I was actually very talented at something else, and now here I am at the solicitor's office, (laughs) hating my job. Hot. So I feel like everyone's thing, but that's actually that. The thought of that is actually quite nice. That is quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it is. We are not in a. We're not competitive in a in an aggressive way, but just in a. We like. I think anyway. Maybe this is just me. Maybe they'll all say no, but I like the idea of like. Like coming home with the bacon, do you know what I mean? Yeah. To impress, like, wow, look, what, here's the thing. Because Junior's always coming home with, oh, I just did a fashion show. You know what I mean? Junior's yeah. things are like, what? Oh, I've got a festival. So, you know, it's nice to come home with like your thing that you bring and then everyone's got their thing. My little brother Jason's doing some DIY at the moment. Like he's like working with Coca-Cola. So it's nice that everybody's got their, you know, that's where it comes from. So you all motivate each other. I love that. Just yeah. having a family of your own ecosystem. Yeah. yeah. So. You see, Skepta, yeah. yeah. Like, no, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> For you like, to smile at me and say, you see, Skepta, like, I don't know where this is going. I'm just going to look, I'm going to look here. Like, Ask me a question. Fucking, like. No, it's going to be <laughs> Where's my chips? Like, what's he saying? Like, like, like what's he's he saying? He's saying that he needs someone who goes to the gym. Like, is that, like, <laughs> I could, man can, I could do that. You can do like, it? Would you start going to the gym? Seven days a week. Even, wow. the, eight, even the eighth day, I'll be wow. there. That's what it's going to take. That, huh? if, if that's what we're saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'll>, Joyce. <laughs> I can't just... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See, the crunch just... <laughs> 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 like, oh, catch me. There. What? I will rebrand. Look what look what you need to go to. That's terrible. That's terrible. Fitness and you lifestyle. I'll rebrand. I'll rebrand fitness and lifestyle. That, what? <laughs> That's what? Can I ask you a question? Because obviously uh, your your brother is literally is it bending? Fix it. <laughs> yeah, fix it. Put on straight. Your, as a, That's I, it. I have a younger brother, right? Mm. And your brother is literally, and I'm gonna say it. No. He's a sex symbol. Wow. The girls love. Skepta. Wow, that's crazy. Now, as a sister, mm. when you're looking on, when you're going through your Twitter on your <laughs> TL, <laughs> and you're like, and you're saying, wow, wow, Skepta, he's so hot. 
He's so yummy. How do you spell foie? Foie. Foie. foie wow. <laughs> As a sister, how does that make you feel? Um, I mean, I'm. I don't read those things. <laughs> <laughs> if I see a picture of Junior when he looks nice, I think, oh, he's, he looks handsome in this picture. Yeah. But then I know not to read the comment. <laughs> I know straight away. I don't need that. I don't need it. But there's sometimes there's instances where someone that I know will comment. <laughs> they get muted. <laughs> I have to mute that person. Mute queen. I have to mute that person. That person has to get muted. My- or they'll tell me. Like, oh, your brother's looking yum diddly. No, no, at, come to, at me. Hey, Julie, you're, you see, at Julie, I don't know you guys, tell. No, no, mute, I'm gonna mute you. I'm muting you. Anyone that's done it now, you're muted. <laughs> so I've a- never gone back to check if you've been doing it still. You're still muted, it's muted. Honestly, I feel like it's a bit, for me, I have a, I have a younger brother who's in the space, he's doing amazing things, mm. and he's been on the show a couple times. Mm. And sometimes the young girls are like, raw, your brother is so... And I'm like, ew, why are you even saying this to me? You just did it to me! I mean, but I- I'm shooting my shirt. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I want to shoot my shirt. I'm going to go... When are you going to be here? I don't want opportunity. <laughs> like, <laughs> say, when am I going to be here again? You don't know when you're going to do it again? Know. Have I- you actually met him? I've never met him, no. Oh, you're, you've got no chance then, baby. <laughs> 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 At least had an introduction, and so I could help. You haven't even said hello to him. That's fam, truly, man. You got I'm no chance. To nav- let's navigate this. There's no get- chance there, Joyce. I'm no, not gonna lie to you. No, but you're you're here. You're saying Joyce. You're here. I promise you. There's no you, wait. It's not happening. Relax. <laughs> let's chat. But you're here, and we're trying to, you know, come on. You don't, you're just gonna be stutter. Like you that's what I'm saying, sister. Okay, talk me through how you imagine that I would bring you to the like to present you to him. Okay, so you bought me the hats. Right. That means we're already in loss, basically. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know that was what was happening, but okay. Card. Okay, yeah. This is engagements, pre engagements gifts. <laughs> so you yep. now say cool. Skepta, you you take when we finish here, we'll come to your house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you open the door, Skepta. Mm-hmm. This is your wife. That's how you just always straight up straight. And- Skepta, you see, I'm your sister. I've mm-hmm. known you for thirty something years. Mm-hmm. This is your wife. This is your wife. Right. Okay. That's that's all we need. And then just so I'm clear, at that stage, what is it that you then do? Like, what do you do at that stage? Just to help me understand. Fitness and lifestyle, start squatting. <laughs> <laughs> I was start, I was start. <laughs> Seven days a week. Fitness and lifestyle is crazy. <laughs> that is actually mad. <laughs> Fitness and lifestyle. I'm gonna use that, I like it. Okay, so. That's what we're going back to. Like he it, knows. Yeah. Listen, I'll have a six pack by the time I finish up and done. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Oh I'm gonna I'm gonna message him after and let him know I'm coming back home with his wife. Please, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shy, I'm shy. It. You're shy, I'm shy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll let I'm him shy. I'll let him know. I'm shy. Obviously his partner and his children will have to figure that out as well. What do you think? We can squeeze. We can squeeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we can squeeze. We can make it work, okay. <laughs> no, that's amazing, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's look at us. It's the way she said, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna open the door. I like that you put in the fact that I have to open the door <laughs> and he's in my house for some reason. That was my visualization. That was how, yeah. We visit, if we visualize, we manifest, right? <laughs> if we visualize, we manifest. It's true. But I want to tell you, you were talking to my team and um, we were talking about confidence. So you mentioned um, that you wasn't very confident growing up. Growing up, I wasn't confident until about five minutes ago. Really? Yeah. If, if, when I really think about it, the only time that I remember being 100% confident in myself, that the moment that it changed was 2021. Wow. What year is it? 23? Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago, you just, the, the confidence unlocked. Yeah. That's crazy. Talk me through that journey. I am. Um, remember what I was saying about presenting mm-hmm. and how presenting for me was very natural. So I didn't feel like I needed to build confidence in presenting because it just was normal to me. I didn't feel I was trying to do anything. Obviously, mm-hmm. if someone sits me in front of Britney Spears, I'm going to have to try and find my remember who you are. Yeah. So I'm not doing shaky. But ultimately, it was a normal, natural thing. But then outside of presenting, 
I wasn't confident. I wasn't confident in what I was wearing. I wasn't confident in how I carried myself and how I was around people. I wasn't confident in anything. Like I just, in my relationships, in my friendships, I always felt very, I'd second guess things all the time. I was in a relationship for a long time where I knew it wasn't the right one, but I thought, Julie, this might be the best you're gonna get. So wow. just like, let's just keep this one going for as long as possible. I was super, super shaky in all those other areas, but then obviously in work, people were super nice and everybody loved what I did and people thought I was talented and I felt I was talented. So I, it was it was strong there, but yeah, outside of that, it was it was a mess. So what changed, what hit, what, where, where did, was it like a progressive growth or did you wake up and be like, I'm not a dickhead? <laughs> I got COVID. Yeah. And um, the day that I found out I had COVID, my boyfriend broke up with me. Wow. What a devil. <laughs> He's actually a really nice okay. guy. But yeah, that was mad that day. I remember just, I laughed because I thought, well, wow, that's mad. Yeah. I actually, I had the email and when they, I don't know if anyone's ever had positive COVID test, hopefully you haven't. But in the email, it's red letters at the very top. Yeah. You have tested positive. So I, I sent him a picture of it like, yo, I've got COVID. I, I felt like I had it, but I really got this thing. Yeah. So then I'm just sitting down in my house, just like being sad that I'm ill. And then that evening, <laughs> he called me I'm talking on the phone and he was just like yeah man like, I think we should call this a day he's wicked and bad yeah mad he it? said I'm not isolated with you girl <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing Sabrina and Idris no, hell it's no, over bro. I need to go outside <laughs> <laughs> so then yeah so that was mad so then we broke up well he broke up with me and then um, and then he regretted it which is always good yeah he said listen maybe that was a bit that was a bit rash there was not, is that the word rush? It was like a rush decision. It yeah. was a bit too much. So then by that point though, with me, if I've been trying to fight for something, but in my gut, I know it's not real. Yeah. And you give me a way out, I'm not going back. So because he'd given me a way out by breaking up with me, and I knew that I didn't really want to be in this. When he's coming to say, actually, maybe we should fix it. I'm like, no, I just made it out and I didn't have to do anything. Yeah. So I'm fighting it now. So he was going back and forth for a bit, but then ultimately we said, you know what, it isn't, we shouldn't do this or whatever. I said to him, like, I was okay in this relationship, but it didn't, I knew it wasn't what I really wanted. And then he said to me, well, you shouldn't be in it then. And yeah. I thought, oh, right, I shouldn't. <clears throat> and then so I said, okay, cool. And I went into my notes on my phone and I wrote down what I wanted in the relationship from my partner. And from that day, I said, okay, cool. This is the bar now. And we're not changing. We're not, we're not going to, do it's okay if no we're just gonna hold it here yeah i'm gonna take the energy that i put into my work and how everybody knows when i'm working it's like we're not playing with julie i'm gonna take that and apply it to my personal life my yep. friendships my relationship and then i met my boyfriend now two two days later and we've been together ever since and it was like that when i realized that oh when you say what you want and you stick to it and you get it now it's so hard to undo this because i know how much I love him, my boyfriend now. And I think, imagine if I was still doing the, oh, don't worry, it's gonna Settle, be fine. Settle, yeah. Yeah, I would never have been in this situation. So then my confidence from there was like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna apply it everywhere now. I've applied it to work, it's worked. I've applied it to a relationship, it's worked. Friendships, self, family, all of it. I'm applying all of it all the time, nonstop, no matter what happens, no matter what the outcome is, I'm gonna apply that same energy. And my straight away, my whole energy and confidence was like, Phew. No. Do you know what I love that? And I love I love a heartbreak rebrand. You know when you you know when you're in the gutter. When, mm. when, when somebody you love has put you in the gutter mm. and you get to a point where you can no longer tolerate people allowing people to yeah. feel allowing people to make you, you feel. feel low about yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you then you start establishing boundaries to be like, listen, yeah. I know I deserve better for myself exactly. and I'm setting these boundaries and if you can't meet those expectations, in the bin you go. Yeah. I feel like to me, break up, breakups are the best season for me because I just rebrand, rebrand, rebrand. How many breakups have you been through, Joyce? Girl, I've suffered. Oh. I've suffered, but I'm, I'm like a lover girl. Ones, not like the little rubbishy ones. I mean like proper, this was the past. I always have proper heartbreaks. Like I'm a proper lover girl. I love hard. I'm in and out of love like this. Okay, let me ask you this question. I need I'm to not judge. Judging. Go on. What's been your longest relationship, Joyce? Oh. <laughs> to be honest, my first ever boyfriend when I was 15, I was with him for like three years. But then after that, I haven't had a relationship longer than six months. What? The judgment in your eye right now <laughs> is killing me. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not judging you. I do. I'm trying to understand you as a person because everybody's different. So you said that you fall in love quickly. Yeah. How many of the six month relationships did you fall in love in? Everyone. Okay. <laughs> I love hard. <laughs> I love hard. What? I'm a loving girl. Like, what can I say? Like, my love's in it. Mm-hmm. Like, I fall in it that I love very quickly. It's so in a six month, you're doing in and out of love. In yeah. within the six month period. I'll fall I'll fall in love. I'll be obsessive, fascinated, and then it just gets to the halfway point. I'm just like, well, a time was hard. The fact that you <laughs> <laughs> Oi, the fact that you said it gets to the halfway point. So, when is that? A time when When's the halfway point? <laughs> like three months. Uh, when it starts getting so, a bit serious. So you've actually caught in your head three months is a halfway point. So that means it's gonna finish in six months. Yeah, when it's like a time was hard. I start feeling it around the three <laughs> t- around sorry. two, three months, I start feeling it like wow. Okay, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is there a chance? Is there poss- small, it can be a small chance. Is there a chance that you weren't in love, you maybe in lust? I'm a slag, so yeah. <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> it could be. I, I like I am a I am a I'm a lustful babe. Okay. So how do you feel about changing this phrase? You haven't been in love yet. You've been in deep lust. Okay, I've been or in deep you, lust. Or have you actually been, like, has there been a time as, no, Julie, I don't care what you say to me, I was in love. Upon, I'm reflecting, I'm checking my heart. Mm-hmm. I'm checking, I'm checking my heart, my inner, my inner being. This is fucking therapy. No, go and check it, check it. I'm Check checking it. my inner thoughts. Check it. Love. Love, Joyce. You know, love when it's like, yo, if this person leaves, I will, f-. like, everything about the way that they speak to me, the way they understand me, the way that they're tuned into me. Sometimes I don't speak and they're, they're, you know what I'm saying? They care for me deep. And also, the thought of them just makes me smile inside my stomach. That, you know, the deep, like, this magical, that one. Magical, magical, magical. I say once. Okay. Just the, just one time, okay. I'd say. But even when that person come on left, I didn't die. <laughs> and how long was that one? How long? Six months. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not. Oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm toxic, man. Six I'm months. Yeah, man. You've not spent more than six months with another person in a relationship. I Have try- you ever lived with someone? No, no, I couldn't. No. I don't want to see your tear boxes. Ever, huh? I don't want to see anyone's tear boxes next to me. What boxes? Tear boxes. Boxes that's it, what, tear. Why is it? Because, what, what, why is it boxes tear? Because why? <laughs> why have they got tear boxes? Why? Ask them. Why? Why, are, why do you rather have tear boxes? <laughs> Ask them. Emmanuel, why have you got tear boxes? I don't know about them and there, but <laughs> my, my not coming <laughs> it. Yo, that's crazy. Honestly, I'm, I'm working on it. I've learned so much about you. Are you judging me? You're no, judging me. I'm not. I just, I'm, I've learned so much about you. I'm, I feel like I'm, I am looking, I am ready to settle into the right person. I'm going to be honest with you. Talk to me. You're not. I don't think you are. Really? I don't think you are, no. Fia? No, I don't think you are. Really? Is. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll I be honest. It. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't think you are. No, nah, but. <clears throat> of everything we've spoken about today, there could be more information, but I'm going, just the information I have right now. The fact that you want to go to the gym seven to eight days a week so you can be with a man who's got two children and a partner <laughs> tells me. <laughs> I mean, it just tells me that I don't think you're there yet. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but I just don't think you're there yet. That's I'm what working, I'm saying. I'm working, I'm working on it. And that's all that needs. That's all you this need to do. This is what I'm saying. When they have their life together, new man, gym, cop. That's how they've been talking to you. Like, God, God, that's, God, how, that's, how, that's how they've been talking to you. You're not quite, you're not quite there yet. You're not quite there. It's like, fuck it, the hell, bitch. <laughs> Don't kill me. Oh my God. No, it is the cup. It's, it's the fucking cup. It's the cup. It's, it's the, the fucking recy- it's oh, the cup. recyclable. Recyclable. Yeah. I'm, helping, I'm helping the planet. Yo, what's what I'm getting you for Christmas? What? Stop it. I'm I'm listen, the, the, the hats cup. is enough. But guys, don't get anywhere. We're going to be playing Are You Smart? We're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's CNT, baby. Wagwan, back again, tell a friend. 
Alright guys, we are back. And of course, yeah. we're gonna play a very, very special game. So I love this game. It's one of my favorite things to do on the show. And um, it's where we ask our host cultural questions. This is the cultural Bamba Clark questionnaire. <laughs> so Julie. <laughs> oh, <sighs> you got me you got me doing my real laugh. Don't let your brother hear me laughing like that. I have I to laugh sexily. You, it's not the laugh that's gonna make this <laughs> <laughs> No, but how much have you had to drink? I don't know what, I've been drinking since then. Nah, this is crazy. Uh, Julie, are you smart? Yes. Per. In specific areas. Okay. It's confident though. Some people are like, I'm in an RM, but you, you held it firm. No, I I'm love smart. that. Right. Obviously, it's... just don't ask me anything where I don't know the answer. <laughs> Girl, what? Girl, what? Girl, what? Right, we've got six shots, meaning we've got six questions. You can only give me one answer. Can't tell me Becky, Susie, Adam, Joseph, um, Ayodeji. Wow. Got that was a nice it. range of names. I know, right? Yeah. I'm bilingual. It went from white woman to black man. Basically. Mm. I'm bilingual. So. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Do you know the answers to the questions? Hell yeah. No, but do you know them or are they written in front of you? Know them? They're written in front of you. So you wouldn't know the answers to the questions either? I would. Either. I would like to think of myself as an intelligent woman. I feel like we should do a double quiz, but it's okay, it's fine, go on. So. You're gonna drink if I know the answer anyway, innit? Yes. It? Okay, cool. If you know the answer, I'll drink. If you don't know the answer, you drink. Okay. And leader, winner gets put on the leaderboard. Where's the leaderboard? Who's at the top? Um, at the top is Shits and Gigs and Dammy. I don't think Dammy fucking count. I mean, I don't think Shits and Gigs count because there was two of them, there was two brains. They did a quiz together? Nah, sorry. <laughs> Dammy's, at, Dammy's at the top. Dammy's, Dammy's at, at the, the top. top. Dammy's at the top. Shits and gigs. To be fair, with them, with shits and gigs, you should actually average it because it's two. So you add the two, add the score together and then divide it by two. By two. So they should get half of what Girl you know. maths. <laughs> Girl maths. Okay. Cool. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think. She can't even read the question. How can someone who's gonna give me the question not be able to read it? I'm trying to build the suspense. Oh, okay, fine. Don't chat shit, you couldn't read it. I'm trying to build the suspense. Joyce, you're just as drunk I'm as me. I'm trying to build the suspense. I'm just trying to build the suspense. Okay. <laughs> question Why number one. Why am I drinking before I have to drink? I'm not okay, go on. Question number one. Mm -hmm. What is Oxford Dictionary's word of the year 2023? Off. Off. What? Wait, what? No, no, that's the first question. You lot are taking a f***ing piss. What is Oxford Dictionary's word of the year? 2023. What's, what's the criteria for the word of the year? Like, what we, what's, what's going on? Like the most popular, like, was avocado one one year or something? Is it the most popular? No, Joyce, you're pissing me off. All right, what does it begin with? What does it begin with at least? That's not quite. Do you know how many words there are in the, in the world? In the English language? This year, what was its most word of the year it's the most word of the year <laughs> as in the one that was used the most the one they liked the most i'm just reading what's in front okay, of me um i'm gonna take a guess i'm gonna take a guess i'm gonna try and think about what was the biggest sort of news and story of the year maybe a word that was overused this year do you know what this is a bit of a dark one but See, that's how dark it is. <laughs> it's a bit of a dark one, but if I had to think of a word that was used a lot this year, even though this might not even be the criteria for Oxford, I would say genocide. Okay. I feel like that word I've, it's, it's about, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my final, that's my lock that one in, hon. Okay, we are locking in genocide. This is so annoying. Worst question in the world. That is incorrect. The You're Oxford incorrect. You are incorrect. <laughs> you, Joyce. How dare um, you? <laughs> Girl, what happened to shit? What happened to fucking do? What was the stupid word then? It was Riz. What? Riz. It's Riz? It's Riz. It's, riz. it's like the popular word. I know you? what Riz means, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen that word used once nah, riz in my is life. The word. You ain't got no Riz. How do you spell it, Joyce? Don't look at the, don't look at it. R I Z Z. It's actually double Z. But I said Z Z. I know. <laughs> so this is the first shot, right? Mm -hmm. This is 
Why is it that one? Because the ghost is all dark. Oh, that's cute, the way the, the, the It's cute. I think this might oh, be a nice one, though. Glass over a glass. Yeah. I thought this was actually what this, the purpose of this was. Actually. I know, it looks cool, right? It, would you say it was a what? It looks good. It could be a good one. I can't believe you lot are giving me drinks in a fucking tea light candle holder. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It could motherfucking be. I'm sure it's a shot glass. That is like San Pellegrino, this. Is this San Pellegrino? I don't know what it is. You I don't know what I'm drinking? I don't know what you're I'll drinking. I come to be a guest on your show, you don't know what I'm drinking. Because I'm drinking it too, they can't tell me. So when I end up in the hospital, what are you gonna, what's happening? Well, you've signed your life. for allergies, that's why I asked oh, the allergy question. Oh, Tia, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, <laughs> sexy, hot and cool and naughty. What, what was, that? was Lime it? juice or lemon juice? Lemon juice. Lemon, lemon juice? juice? You, you took that down like a champ. I would have been bugging out. Mm. Anyways, I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> Shout out to Riz anyway. Shout out to Riz. Word. I love that word. Give me a good question, Joyce. Sorry. Sorry. Question number two. In what year was the internet opened to the public? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Can you give me the decade? I don't know. <laughs> It no, but Joyce, if you give me the decade, I've only got, I've got, I've still got, a, there's still 10 options within the decade. Come on, be nice to me. I'm your guest. I'm going to, I'm going to set you up with my brother. Girl, I know you are. You've read it to me, it's never happening. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me, in what year? Yes. <laughs> I've literally got no idea. I stopped, I, was, I remember, I remember playing solitaire. <laughs> On the house computer when we was in Meridian Walk. Good that times. would have been like in the 90s. Is it in the 90s, Joyce? Look at my eyes. Is it in the 90s? Is it the 80s? Oh, you blinked for 80s. Girl, I just blinked. Okay. <laughs> 19. <laughs> think, Julie, think. Come on, think. When did you start using it? it was, I was in Meridian Walk when we started using the internet for sure because we had a dial up. You know when it, that was noise. <laughs> that was the noise when you get into the internet. So I was in Meridian Walk. We was in Meridian Walk until 2004. It was when we left. And I was there from like a, a young babes. 19... 1994. Are you locking that in? Yes, I am, Joyce. <laughs> that is incorrect. All right, what's the right answer? 1993. Oh, God, please! <laughs> Are you joking? It was close. Oh. I really wanted this for you. No, you didn't, you liar. <laughs> That's so annoying. My little brother was born in 92 and I thought Jason was, wouldn't have been. 1993 was the year. But you was close though. I was very close. You, were, you nearly had it. No, I don't like it. You were so. You're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I don't know what the hell that is, but it looks very orange goosey. It could be to mixed be fair, drink. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even be smelling it. That's That's dangerous. I can see something in it. Oh God. You know when it's things start floating in What's it, you that? know it's not a good the one. Latif, is this you that does this? <laughs> I can see something in it, Joyce. Well, best of luck. Wow. <laughs> wow. Best of luck. A lurk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julie. Oh, come on, Julie. Julie drinky. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it was a pine. It was a bit of pineapple, mango. Oh, man oh it was mango. You go. You are motherfucking dramatic. I don't like mango. I don't like mango either. The consistency of mango Disgusting. is like nasty, nasty it's fruit. Super, super thick. Disgusting. It's super thick. Nothing should ever be that thick. Liquid wise. Liquid wise. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Joyce, focus. Huh? Sorry, meditation. Dedication. <laughs> Dedication. Meditation. Generation. Right. I am smart. So, we've also got a music queen here. Yeah. So we've got a music question for you. That's me. Okay, go on. Question number three. Come on, Joyce. Come on, be nice to me. Who won the first Grammy for best rap 
performers. Performance? Yeah. Okay, first of all, I've just thought about something. The show is called Cocktails and Takeaways. Yes. Where's the takeaway? <laughs> where, where are the, where? Am I gonna get it at the end? <laughs> What's your problem? I'm just saying. <laughs> This bad cocktail. Teeth, is there someone else that's gonna bring the takeaway? <laughs> Joyce, I just want what I'm owed. No, the, the takeaway is not for you. The takeaway is for me. Because so, I'm taking away your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take away your brother after this this show. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was good. That was really good. You thought you thought you had me. That was good. That was you good. thought you had me, you know, girl. But just to be clear. I actually have my own takeaway. Thank you very much. My burger's over there. Purr. You can't invoice it. We'll pay for it. You can invoice it. I'm happy with that. If I invoice you ever for a burger and chips, you know I've lost it. Just call the police. All right. First Grammy for, for best rap performance. Best rap performance. I remember that Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff won one of the first Grammys and they didn't, I think they did go or they didn't go because they didn't televise it. But the Grammys is annoying because they've got like best record, best song, best, you know what I mean? But if you're saying first, I feel like it's early days so maybe they just, whoop, everything was together. So I'm gonna, who else could have won it? I'm gonna go Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. Okay, we are locking Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. That is correct. Yes! Well <laughs> yes! You ate that. Thank you so you much. You ate that. You ate that. Wow. Okay, cool. And you know what's killing me? Let me tell you something. I don't know what these shots are. Yeah. But looking at this shot, yeah. when Tia puts it like a little bit, I know it's hell. You know it's hell. Come to hell, Danny. What's your problem? She's got many problems, Tia. I can see the oil oh, what is dots. It? Are you not Oh, I spot it. Enjoy, honey. <laughs> Enjoy, darling. Oh, come on, Josh. You got this. You got this. You got this. I know what this is. You're, you're, you're very, very, you're a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm excited now. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh my gosh, what it's was it? It's tuna water. Salmon water, actually. Salmon water. Change the fish this time. No, sorry, fish. hold on. Sorry, options on here could be salmon water. Salmon water. Where's that? I didn't sign anything. <laughs> I didn't sign anything. <laughs> Just I didn't sign a thing. <laughs> salmon water. Salmon water. What do you mean? As in, the what do water, you mean? The, the salmon was swimming inside it and then she poured it. So you, can't, you guys are putting salmon water on the table, it's not even a bucket. I'll just vomit on the set. How much did it cost? <laughs> <laughs> How, was this expensive? Listen, <laughs> I'll vomit on the set. Invoice to shits and gigs. Okay, I'm going to vomit on the set. Tia, you're nasty, by the way. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna find out where you live. <laughs> this is hell. <laughs> I'm going to find out where she lives. We've got three left. Do you know where she lives already? I don't actually know, you know. Did she invoice you? Because the address might the be voice. on there. Hmm? She invoice, she don't invoice me. We need to find where she lives. Listen. Salmon water. <laughs> I could have died. I even brought that up small. Oh, thank you, Will Smith. I, I even brought I love up you small. always. <laughs> come on, come on, I'm in Question now. number four. I'm in now, I'm feeling confident. It's a riddle. Oh no. Oh no. Make sure you read it right, Joyce. Don't get your don't get any words you know mixed up. English is key. not my first language. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's English not is not the my first. The words are key in a riddle. What fills a room mm. without taking up any, any space? space? That could be air. What fills a room? It could definitely be air. What else fills a room, Judy? Think fills a room without taking up any space. So it's there, but it's not there. It can only be air. I'm going with air. Are you locking that in? Why are you asking me that, man? I have to ask. What fills a room? Without, laughter can fill a room. What fills a room without taking up any space? But for laughter to fill a room, there has to be people in the room which takes up space. Air is always in a room. What fills a room? 
The room was filled with joy, laughter, with... I'm sticking with air. Lock in air. Lock in in air. Lock in air. Dum, dum, dum. Tension music here somewhere. Gang, Emmanuel, gang, well done. Gang, gang, gang. Who's taking a shot? Who's taking a shot? Who's taking a shot? Are you taking a shot? Is it me? Am I taking a shot? Who's taking a shot? You're definitely taking a shot, mate. No way! No way! That was incorrect. The answer is light. No! 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 I refuse! Joyce, I refuse! Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Oh my days. Is there light in this room right now? Yeah? Yeah. Is that light taking up space? Yeah, it fills the space. But it's taking up space. It's literally on the floor, taking up space. There's other light coming through the window. Also. Like what, Tia, man? Why are you gonna get the <laughs> You're just so f***ing <laughs> thoughts. I'm talking to Joyce. I'm talking to, I'm talking to Joyce, who's in debt to me, because she wants to be a part of my family. <laughs> Joyce! Talk to me. Listen, I just, I didn't write it. I just, I just, I just read it out. Hey, listen! No, 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 <laughs> Everybody is watching this video now. Every single one of you is watching this video. I swear, if you don't comment underneath that actually my answer was correct, then I want you to wake up tomorrow morning and I want you to have a spot, yeah? Under your eye, one that's really fucking with you, you can't even blink. That's what I want for you. Comment and say, comment under the video and say that my answer was actually better than light! What about when it's dark? What about when the sun goes down? Why am I shouting? Yeah, this, you use the, the one on the ceiling. You're like, it's taking up space. Not that. Air is the only thing that doesn't take up space. But it fills the room. But it's not taking up any space. But air is not a thing. Joyce, I've had enough of you and your lies. <laughs> what did I do? This what smells did... nice. I'm a bit nervous. because It, it might be a like... nice one. There could be a nice one. Oh, there's nice ones one. in here? Nice See, ones. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Tia, I don't know what she loves this, you know. This is her kink. She oh. loves it. Oh, that was like Sprite. A Sprite. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> she loves it. She loves it. She loves all you, this God. all this heartbreak you're feeling. She's like, yeah, give me some I know some she more is. I know she is. Yeah. But guess what? I'm going <laughs> to find out where she lives. <laughs> Trust me. You're going to like it until you get home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Come on, Joyce. Guess the song. Huh? Guess the song. Are you going to sing it? No, I'm good because you can't this, sing. You know damn well I can't. Are you gonna sing it? No, I'm okay. gonna read it. You're gonna read it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna read it. That's even worse. Thank you. You can't read. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. This is racism. This is racism. And uh, you know what's so funny? Y'all know damn well I can't read. <laughs> I can't fucking read. Oh, you can't read for real? I wasn't actually trying to mock you if you really can't read. Nah, if you can't you know read, what? that's fine. Everyone, uh, when I be, I'm like, yeah, and uh, um, <laughs> let's just keep it. So, sorry, let me go again. Let me just. <laughs> that's fine, because that's who you are and you're so beautiful. Person. Girl, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to drink this one? No. Guess the song. <clears throat> no, Joyce, read it with joy, please. Come on. Joy? Yeah, read it with okay. joy. Read it with like. Give me some vibes. Some bounce, yeah. okay. It's different lines from the song, so they're not all coherent. Shut. So they're not all coherent? Yeah. Is that the English? See? I don't think it's not I my first language. You Do you mean they're not all in order? Chronological. Okay, right. Wait, wait, sorry. So you're just... <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's so okay. So you're just reading me random it's okay. lines from the song? Yeah. All from the same song? Yeah. yeah. This is stupid. Okay. Let's just keep it honest with each other. Oh, is this, I don't know this. And your family love me like I'm family. That sounds like us. <laughs> <laughs> then the final line is, no matter who you with, no, no, no. I want to see you happy on guard. No, is it on guard on there? Yeah, oh. brackets on guard. I don't know what this is. I ain't got a clue. Let's just keep, what is it again? Let's just keep it honest with each other. And your family love me like I'm family. No matter who you with, I want to see you happy on oh, God. Oh God. My gut is saying Summer Walker, but um, I know she wasn't really feeding her ex's family. She dissed, she dissed the guy's mum, which is hilarious. 
I'm just going for a personality of someone that would say that. Oh my, who says, oh God. It's a rap song? You lot have only been talking to me, you're pricks. <laughs> you lot old pricks. I don't know, Joyce. What do you want me to do? Shut up. What do you want me to do? You're not locking in anything. What do you want me to lock in? I don't know the answer. I've got nothing. I've got nothing! I've got nothing. I'm just gonna say Summer Walker because if I don't say it and it is the answer, I'll just feel like an idiot. But let's just keep it honest with each other. Your family loves me. Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna say Summer Walker, man. Joyce, this is not fair. Aren't you thirsty, babe? You don't want a shot? <laughs> Do you know what? I've been sipping this nice, I just been sipping this nice. sexy. Right, we're lucky. Do you not all know the answer as well? Is it just me sitting there that doesn't know it? Shut up, Emmanuel, man. <laughs> I can't stand that guy, bro, with his, with his hairy bum. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fucking answer? Right, we've got no. You're not locking in a song. I'm locking in Summer Walker. Okay, we are locking in Summer Walker. <laughs> I hate you. That is. She needs a song. She needs a song. I need to say what the song is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you invite me onto the show, you fill me with alcohol, and then you're asking me to use my brain. Round. <laughs> I will never do that again, by the way, <laughs> because that was, what was that? Um, <laughs> I, need, I, don't, I, uh, I don't have a song, I don't have a song. Um, I don't have a song, that's annoying. I don't, I don't know, Joyce. I'm taking this shot regardless. Go on. Okay, we've got nothing. Yeah, um, Summer Walker, the song is called I Don't Know. So, we've got no feasible, plausible. Any other words you want to you wanna add in? Do you know what? I was racking through, I was thinking, let me, let me download Gentrify some. Gentrification is another one you could say. Gentrification word. No, it's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, are you a close? Asha featuring Summer Walker, 21 Savage, good, good. It's okay, you don't have it. That's okay. Not everybody has it. Joyce. <laughs> Can I just say, this game is called Are You Smart? These are not tests of intellect. <laughs> These are not questions. Sorry, that looks oh. like hell. <laughs> You're actually fucked up. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get this. Listen, I wanted to take the shot. I wanted to do it for you. you I know was like, what? I, look how far this is for me, and I can smell it. <laughs> no, Joyce, I, I can wanted smell to. It. I wanted to. My nose is blocked. I wanted to do. <laughs> I can smell it. I, I wanted to do it. that one it's for a you. Sauce. This is a sauce. Oh no. Yeah, no, it's a sauce. It's like it's a like brown what? sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo, why do people like doing this to me? I wanted. To, I wanted you to win. I wanted you to get that. No, you didn't. You're I a liar. did. With t t can I just say, up until this shot, I was happy because you got the salmon juice, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This one is not busting. Mm -mm. Okay. Not the, not the cocktail. But <laughs> you have to load it. <laughs> oh God, yes, take it down like you, like you used to this girl. Come on, yeah. You're this girl. <laughs> yeah. Was that soy sauce? No, what's just sauce? What's just just sauce? Just just sauce. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Focus. 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 Now you're gonna poo. Oh. Let it digest. Let it bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Honestly, we need to think about changing the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> we need to think about changing the name. Brother. We need to, no, we do. Bob. Here's me thinking that the shots were gonna be shots. <laughs> See, it's just gone into the staff room and said, She's taking James's oh, precious <laughs> sauce. Poor Lauren on the third floor. She's now no longer got a lemon juice. <laughs> Tia's having a laugh with us today. Huh? Watch. I bet. What, what part of London? I'm between East and South. Of course you are. Just say her your address. Just shut it. Just She's let between her East and South. That's enough. That's all I need. I'm gonna follow her home. <laughs> you like laughing? 
When are you next recording? Watch, Sia's not going to be here. <laughs> Which, what's just us? Which just us? That's what you want me to. <laughs> ah. Hey! So, <laughs> give me that last question. I'm ready now. You can't get me. How many have I had? Four. The anger in your eyes killing me. <laughs> Julie had four has shots. On her eye. I've had four shots. Yes, that's time not answer. <laughs> Hey, that sauce is burning my whole chest, you know. Disgusting! You're nasty! Ho! Santa. Santa's watching. I'ma give you, I'ma give you. No, don't even bother, because what you think is easy for me might be hard, and now it's and then it's really bad. Then I'll actually blame you. Okay, I'ma give you the option. Would you like a multiple choice? Or would you like a riddle? Multiple choice. Okay. What is the largest country in oh. the world? Oh. Oh. It's over. It's finished. I'm done. <laughs> I can't even. You're going to give me multiple choice? You're going to give me multiple choice, Joyce? Oh, it's multiple choice, isn't it? You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky. A, China. B, Canada. C, Russia. The largest country. Yeah. Not population. Country. So we're what talking about the square largest miles. country. We're talking about in square, the this, world. as in the actual land space that that country what takes up. What is the largest country <laughs> You're a dickhead. in the world? <laughs> You're a dickhead. If you ask that question one more time, I'm going to throw these glasses in your face. <laughs> okay, Canada, China, or Russia? All right, anyone watching this now that knows the answer, let me just tell you something. Hmm? My geography teacher's name was Mr. Tida. He was not very engaged with our students. And so he used to take a lot of days off, bless him. Lovely guy. But the point I'm trying to make is me and geography, we don't, we don't go together. What is the largest country in the world? I feel that China has a large population, but I don't think it's the largest country. Canada is outside of America. I'm thinking about on the map. Canada's like all of that, but then Russia's wham. If any of these countries is bigger than Russia, that's mad to me. If can I, can I look at can I look at my phone? No. <laughs> Not Google it. I just look at it on the map. That's this okay. that 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 girl now. <laughs> girl what? It has to be Russia, Julie. How is it Canada? There's no way I would have heard that in my life. Mr. T Dub would have told us. What are we locking in? Let's lock in Russia. We are locking in Russia. To be honest, we've done quite bad at this game. Uh, overall. Joyce, please tell me that's the right answer. Is that the right answer? Honestly, I'll faint. If it's <laughs> I'll faint on this ground if it's the wrong answer. I'm gonna faint. Joyce. Do lead. Is the answer correct? That is the correct answer. Well done. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Wow. Take it away, Marnie. Don't be doing deep breaths because you've not done anything this whole game. You just drank some. I know what this is, and I feel like every time. Is that Bailey's? This looks like it could. That's the kind of you know creamy things. They run your belly crazy. Remember you had diarrhea the last time we met. Imagine if every time you see me, you get diarrhea. I know, yeah, that was hell. I there actually had go. proper full blown diarrhea that you day. You might get it again with this thing. What is it? I'm going out. Wow, look at that. Wow, she didn't even tilt her head back properly, man. You're a real drinker. Real drinker. Not many. <laughs> real drinker. Bro. That was, what was that? Um, A, a coffee latte. Cold oh, coffee latte. Fabulous. A coffee latte? A coffee latte? Fabulous. That doesn't make sense. Like, I'm telling latte. you, <laughs> she went latte. to the staff room <laughs> and just grabbed whatever was there. A coffee latte. I'm crying. Of all the things that could have been here. Sarah came out from her lunch break and she's like, who the f***? Who the f***? Where's my, where's my <laughs> coffee latte? Like? Where's my tall coffee latte with whatever the extra bits there? Like honey with, a, <laughs> with a skinny latte, with a tall, with a, you know what I'm talking about? Oh my God. Yeah, we, we like that. So how many points did I just get? Girl, belly. Two. <laughs> <laughs> you did your best. Where's she on the leaderboard? Is she last in it? She yeah, ah! last. I can't... <laughs> you know how you even forgot about the leaderboard? Yeah, last. Yeah, the... I even forgot about it. Emmanuel. I, I can I be higher than Shoots and Gigs? Because I'm only one person, so technically. 
everyone like, usually gets halfway, but do you know what? It's okay. Do you know what it is? It's the, the, the thought that counts and nice. also the participation. So yeah, you're taking the piss. Everybody clap for it. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, thank you. Honestly, I've had such a mother great time. I've had a great time. We are coming to a close, but where do we find you on the internet? You know where to find me on the internet, guys. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be, don't be stupid. Don't be you don't stupid. know who this don't is. Dumb. You know what I'm saying. Um, watch my new show, Work in Progress. Amazing. I do want you to watch it. I just blink slowly because I'm dr- <laughs> been drinking. You know when you just look like you should watch it. It's really Honestly, good. it's it's so good. And I feel like I it's the first time I've seen a show where you see the process of the journalistic aspect all the way to interview and it was so amazing to see that but guys please check out work in progress i believe the first episode is in munya is the second episode out now well done well done well done good for you that's great all right this has been great i love you guys bye <laughs> and the love is sunam <laughs> guys check out work in progress progress shits Check out Work in Progress and also make sure you follow Julie on social. It's going to be in the description. But guys, we are going to be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. And with that being said, we are mother out. Grrr.